This video is brought to you by ForkFest.Party It's gonna be a party So New Hampshireite Keith Champagne has written me another note about the Browns. Champagne was uh, one of the more credible people who was involved in 2007 when the Browns were in a standoff with the U.S. Marshals at Plainfield, although involved, I don't know exactly, I don't remember exactly what he did, except that I just remember he was talking to me on my channel back in those days and always struck me as a credible source of information. So here's his email, which he has asked me to correct for grammar. Quote, the Supreme Court ruled yesterday on the Demaya case. He won his argument, which means the Browns and Dan and Jason should be coming home soon. I expect Jason and Danny to possibly be home within a few months, and Ed and Elaine will depend on some sentencing questions to see how much time they should have served compared to what they have served. There may still be a short time left for them to finish up before being released. The next step is the First Circuit Court will notify them all that they are eligible for a new appeal. Danny and Jason have already served more time than they could be sentenced to, so they will then petition the U.S. Attorney's Office to consent to an immediate release while the appeal is pending. That should be granted. The question with Ed and Elaine is, did they get the maximum sentence on underlying charges originally? If they didn't, then technically, under an appeal, the court could increase those sentences, even though they can no longer apply the sentence enhancements that the Demaya case just beat as unconstitutional. Depending on the unknown of time that could be served against them, I'm sorry, unquote, <laughs> eject button, okay, let me finish his quote here, uh, quote, depending on the unknown of time that could be served against time that has been served, plus good behavior time, is what will determine when they come home. But they are definitely coming home. Keith Champagne. Unquote. Well, it's interesting he used the word definitely. I tend to always be skeptical of any sort of optimism in expecting good treatment from the central government. But we'll see. The Danny and Jason, who he refers to, by the way, in this email, are two Brown supporters who were sentenced to jail for a long time or prison for a long time, as a result of their support for the Browns. Ridley out! That's what you'll be doing to yourself if you forget... If you... If you forget to attend Forkfest. What is Forkfest? Well, it's a little bit like Porkfest. It's also in New Hampshire at Rogers Campground. But you don't have to wait for it to start to participate. Go by their website, check out the forum and the chat room. Get involved in planning it. Forkfest.party. It's gonna be a party.